All right, all right, all right. Welcome back down here to Bobby Bobby Blaze, Bobby Bobby Forge. Been a long day today for maintenance on my milling machine. Boy, I tell you what, uh, had me pretty aggravated, but uh, did a lot of work on it. Tore the whole machine down to square nuts. I mean, took it all apart and everything. I couldn't machine a piece of metal for the last two and a half years and didn't know why. Well, one reason why is the machine is made in China. So uh, their tolerances aren't exactly what ours are. But uh, today, like my last video said, it gave me a case of the red ass. So uh, I tore it all apart and I fixed it. And here's what we got right now. So we look at there, the vise is back on. It's super level. The deck is level what we like to call the head of the machine is level and I call it the arm I don't know what anybody else calls it but I call it the arm and uh, if you look down there it's level so uh, tomorrow we should be able to mill a piece of steel and not break any inserts and get a good flat cut you know uh I'm, I'm really thankful for my education and uh i guess this is going to turn into a public service announcement but uh you know i went through high school as a vocational uh electrician got my uh paperwork for all that residential commercial industrial so i was able to know that i had to fix the brushes on the motor when it was acting up and then I joined the Navy as a jet engine mechanic and uh, started working with my hands and started learning a lot of mill writing. My dad was a machinist for uh, 30 years, 31 plus years before he passed. I uh, had a lot of great friends, Joe Cadillac, Henry Reich, who uh, I worked with over the years, taught me a bunch of stuff. And there's a bunch of other names, but those are uh, some of the ones that I really care for and I really love. Uh, you know, this day and age, the youth don't know how to fix anything. They uh, buy it, it breaks, they throw it away. That machine cost me 2000 some odd dollars. I can't afford to throw it away. So uh, I used my education and my God-given skills to fix it. You know, so uh, I'm not telling you what to do, but uh, teach your kids. You know, if you know how to fix something with your hands, <laughs> they'll get a lot better than... Uh, be able to type a text with their phone but uh anyway the milling machine is fixed it's up and ready i'm going to try it again tomorrow make this uh bait cutter blade for a, a friend of mine uh tim and uh i'll post a video and see how it goes all right all right all right you keep watching my videos get all your friends to like and subscribe make me famous for 2023 y'all have a good night